talk about one more ab initio question so many times uh, to it will be asked like i have 100 records in input and i want to output like in first run so there are 100 records that i want to process in uh, in a such a way that in first run i want to be having output of 25 records in second run let's say 26 to 20 50 record and then in third run i have to have the output 51 to 75 and in fourth i have to have 676 to 100 okay so i'll go to the record cell go to output how to achieve this so whenever we see, so it looks like it's in a looping based processing, first loop, second loop, third loop, and so on, based on certain while condition, right? While this is the condition true, then only the loop should be running. And within the loop, how many records are going to be in output? So we have a plan. So within a plan, we can choose the looping plan, right? So we can, uh, first there are multiple approaches we can talk about. First approach we are going to talk about on plans based approach, right? conduct IT. So plan, we can take the plan and the challenge is how to, you know, how to conditionalize the loop that only 25 records in the first loop and the next 25 record in the second loop and the next two next 25 record in the third loop so this conditional checking is the challenge right so let's approach it so we will have a plan we will declare two variable in dot data let's just start from the zero and incremented using the 25. So we know that there will be a, some variable which, which is, you know, only 25 records are going to give. So this number we can assign. And uh, I need to modify this, right? There should be some condition of loop. So I, there will be a looping plan we know, right? So looping plan, I can take the while loop. Looping condition could be dollar in data is less than 100 so i will start the end data from zero and until and unless it goes to 100 i have to keep on running the loop right so we know that i mean uh, we can increment the value we'll start from zero let's say first you know loop is started so first loop is started so we will design the graph which is running underlying of the plan so we will have a graph task within plan these are the you know plan level parameters and this is the looping plan we have chosen the loop while loop plan we have chosen chosen the you know ultimate condition of looping plan for exit and this we'll talk about later the first we are going to talk about what is the graph we are going to create in so the input will take the entire data set then there will be a filter by expression how many records are we are going to be placed into the output and then there will be a output okay so in the within the filter by expression what would be the there is let integer value next in sequence let's say out dot id let's say id is the field in the output so if value is greater than dollar i and data i and data is zero right and value is less than dollar i and data okay so then only one else zero right so, okay this is the condition right okay the value is less than i and data plus uh, this one increment value let's see plus 
increment value dollar so this is the condition right and then there will be an output so output file is going to be a serial loop value counter that is going to be first let's say and dot date first loop value counter right so all the record 25 record is going to go into the this one this file let's say if it is one the one dot date file is going to be created with the 25 records now i need to change the end dot data right end dot data how i can change I can use the plan admin set command end date data end date data plus increment value. So end date data becomes 25 now from 0 to 25, right? So can I use this using? Can I dynamically change this value of the end date data? Yes, we can change it until and unless you have decided that you have to have the dynamic parameter. So when you declare the parameter in dot data increment value so in the data you can make it a dynamic parameter so if you look at the plan when you choose the plan the in the within the tab there is a tab called dynamic parameter you can declare this in 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 underscore data is a dynamic parameter so that you can modify using the plan admin command okay and incremental value is going to be a constant right 25 so always use this okay so whenever we call the second second time in dot data how what is the end dot data is 25 is less than yes it is in less than so go to this graph task will run this will be filter by expression will be calculated next in sequence will be calculated all right and if value is greater than end dot 25 and value is less than 25 plus 25 50 so less than or equal to 50 from 26 to 50 is going to be printed well otherwise it will be zero all right if it is going beyond that next in sequence is going beyond that it will not going to be printed all right in that way we are going to print it and in this cycle we are going to make the end of data is equal to end data 25 plus 25 is the constant value it will become 50 so likewise we can you know iterate through the plan and we can create those kind of files you know we can have a processing which create certain number of records okay so this approach we can use another approach is dynamic lookup approach so that approach we are going to check in the next video thank you so much